name? It's Manny. This is the story of my first 300. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. As it will turn out, this lesson of patience will act as a cornerstone in my journey to achieve 300. You see, mechanical skill can only get you so far in any game. Even Osu, a highly mechanical game, is not excused from this rule. It's kind of like how athletes will say their sports are mostly mental, even if they happen to be extremely physically taxing. Now, I'm not saying that you need to get all up inside your head or some shit. What I'm saying is that raw capability is meaningless. Because we live in a world where no one will ever see what you're capable of. They will only see what you actually do. So join me in this journey of discovery, where we can learn about Osu and life in ways that are a little bit different. Fuck, dude. Oh my fucking god. Oh. Oh my fucking god. What did I just choke? Bro, I can't believe I just choked like fucking 290. That doesn't even make sense. This particular journey starts off with a choke. A choke which told me, Expert. You can set a 300 EP. As you can see, when this happens, I'm pretty confused. Like, yo, there's no way this could be worth 290. That shit act, right? But it is. Now knowing that making some crazy PP play like a 300 or even a high 200 was within the realm of possibility, I started to get more aggressive. Now, I've always had some elements of aggression in my gameplay, but the difference moving forward here is that I now have concrete evidence that I can throw punches above my weight class, that I can tango with a little more zest and speed and fire. Knowing all this, believing it, made me feral. I didn't care how gruesome the result would turn out. I just wanted to throw myself out there. Fuck, man. Dab upon mine that enemies really and flex one. upon these maps. Maps which I had previously deemed too hard. I wanted to say, fuck PP and fuck these maps. So I did. Putting up these performances would further strengthen my confidence, specifically solidifying the belief that I actually was clean enough to FC some of these mid to upper 6 star maps. This is it. We found it. The first piece of the puzzle. Belief.
Oh my god, dude. What else would it take to set a 300? Well, <laughs> you wouldn't expect it. <laughs> Turns out, the other piece of the puzzle for me... Was a lighthearted atmosphere. I am the glove glove. I think this is because setting a new top play will hardly ever be an easy endeavor. Depending on how you look at it, setting a new top play can either be a matter of simply opening Osu and stumbling upon a new top play, or it can feel extremely distressing. This is why it's important to let loose every once in a while in life. Let's see if it happens again. And act a little bit degenerate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All hail. Oh my god, wait. You weren't lying. You're actually like a, a worshiper of Peppy. Dude, who is this irrelevant six digit? I'm sure someday, somehow, Peppy's gonna see this and and his fragile ego will be made more fragile. He works really hard. Neobish. Okay. Goldman Asai, I'm sorry, you peppy, for insulting your royal highness. Hey, if I keep trolling, Peppy's gonna feel my wrath. My wrath. Maybe I'll switch songs. The song's kind of trash. It's not trash, but I think maybe we have heard it one too many times. I think fucking around with friends and playing those shit maps that day pushed the idea of setting a 300 from extremely stressful into so doable, easy as fuck boy territory. The shift in attitude, mood, whatever you'd like to call it, it actually matters a lot in high performance situations, like setting your first 300, for example. Fuck! That's close enough. Dude, that's probably gives me some pee, pee right? That was 244? What the fuck? Peppy, fix your game. Oh my god, dude, what if I didn't miss? That might have been like, might have been a 300. That would have been 300, no? I fell asleep earlier. After I streamed earlier, I went to Chipotle, got some food, saw the dude say Sag, because he was fucking tilted out of his mind, because they didn't have corn. Uh. Here we are. It's finally time to show you my 300. Or at least, what was going through my head the moments before I got my first 300. Fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm not even mad though. I'm not even mad. I couldn't be mad. Not at this beautiful song. How could I be mad when I'm about to get my first 300 PP? Or perhaps a better way to put it is what wasn't going through my head. I'm so nervous right now. I'm not I'm really nervous, I'm just kicked out the wazoo on adrenaline. Oh my god. My hands are like shaking. I stretch out my nerves a bit. Maybe take a few deep breaths, but not too many. Okay, now this is my first 300. No cap. I swear on your grandmother's grave.
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Let's fucking go! Yes! Let's fucking go! Yes, 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 yes. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yes. Yes. Oh my fucking god, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. No fucking way, dude. Heart realize. Let's go. That's such a weight off my chest. That's like... I was seriously fucking molding and stressing about 300 pp. I am actually so happy right now. This is like... It's definitely the happiest moment of my Osu career. It's also the happiest I've been in a while in general. I'm proud of myself. Fuck, man. Can I get another? Am I greedy if I go for another 300 pp play? Does that make me a greedy human being? Or does it make me a human human? So, i just like to close this video out by saying, don't sleep on the more abstract, qualitative sides of life, like the ones we have lightly touched on today. Mindset, enjoyment, humor. Not only are they the most crucial factors in determining your overall health and experience of life, but they actually also offer extremely practical uses that can help you achieve specific goals. Whether it's setting your first 300, making a milli, or perhaps fucking your best friend's girl. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a magnificent day.